Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. The Red Wings will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Puck grab by Marchand. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Shot. Big time blocker stopped by Husso. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Sack has won the draw there on the attack. And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. Huso's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Up the neutral zone now. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Pasternak stick handling in his own zone. And he takes the pass. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Quick feed to Marchand. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Red Wings cross the blue line and are on the attack. Boston's got the puck. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Oh, and he stops that one. Moves the puck down low. Taken by Bertuzzi. The Red Wings play it along the wing. A feed out front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. The Red Wings take possession here inside the offensive zone. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And that pass is redirected. Came up with the save on that play. Detroit's got the puck in the defensive end. Shot! Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Moves it to Rikula. Return pass. Moves it to Tube. And he slides it quickly to Haig. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Bruins will serve two minutes in the box. Detroit's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. With some open space at center. They've got a step. and get across to make that save. The Red Wings have it now. Takes the feed up ahead. Cops cross the line and gain the zone. And that carries off a body in traffic. Sends the feed in front. Picked off in front. Takes the bump and hangs on. How did he stop that one? Zadorov's got it along the boards. Moves it to the middle. Oh, what a chance! And he fanned on the puck. Frederick's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win the draw on their own end. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Dabrink is taking it from his own end. Haig's penalty is almost expired. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Point to point pass. Denies him. He got all of it. Quick feed down low. Inches, James, and this is on full display right here. This is a great shot. Doesn't miss by much, but it's a miss all the same. Stops him again. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Past the halfway mark.
mark of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Cox won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Musa quickly over to Perron. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Tries to get the puck to Winberg. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Denies him with the save. Perron's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, the official is right there to make the call, and no question about it, it's tripping. Anytime you take someone's feet out from under them, you're going to head to the box for two. And now it's grabbed by Rasmussen. And a great read to turn that play aside. Gets in front of the shot. Quick feed down low. Detroit's got it in their own zone. Pushes it across to Kopp. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. Raymond's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. Quick pass to White. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even crisp passes and attacking seams. They gotta be better. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. The Bruins are on the attack. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And there's a shot! And that's turned aside by Husso. He carries the puck up along the wing. The Bruins gain control of it. Can't keep a hold of it. He scores! Well, this D-zone turnover certainly caught the goaltender off guard, James, and he was unable to get set to position. And when this happens, often one area of the net is exposed. This time it's down low, and a goal ensues. The Red Wings take a 1-0 lead here in the late going of period number one. This is a huge goal momentum-wise, isn't it? Well, yeah, James, if you score a goal at the beginning of a period or at the end, it really sets the tone and temperature for your team. And it also puts your opponent back on their heels, and that's exactly what you wanted to happen. But now that the game is wide open, you're heading into intermission. So that's going to give both teams an opportunity to reset. you got to find a way to continue to push in that second period. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Bruins are fortunate that they're only down by one goal heading into the second here, James. I mean, it's been a brutal first period of turnovers. It just seems like there's a lack of communication out there. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Fires it! Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Huso's able to put that puck to the corner, and it really keeps the puck at harm's way. No second shot opportunity. Detroit's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. The Red Wings start with the puck on their own end. And he takes a shot. Well saved made by Husso. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Lots of time left in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. The Bruins win the faceoff. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Works the 
puck across the line. The Red Wings still holding the puck. And he handles the cross ice pass. And now it's over to Petrie. And that's knocked away by McAvoy. Takes the pass. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Moves it around along the half wall. We've got the equalizing goal. Yeah, that counter punch was something, James. To be able to get the equalizer, you can see the excitement on the bench. That's going to provide a lot of energy in the second period. Knocks the puck loose. Austin's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And he takes the dish. Austin's got a hold of the puck. Taken by McAvoy. With possession along the wall. For point blank! And that goes off a of body. Looks to make a play over to Perron. Go, go, go. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. DeMello's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Boston's got possession of the puck. White's lugging the puck. Moves it to the middle, and that's intercepted. The Red Wings played along the boards. Slittering feed, and that's stopped. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, it's all tied up. Boston's got the win off that draw. Taken along the wall by Pasternak. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Debrink has got it in the defensive end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Raymond's got it in the corner. And that's a great hits up play by Pasternak. Boston's in now. Here's a centering pass. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Carries the puck up through center. Quick feed to Dabrinkit. He grabs the puck here at the point. To the front. The Red Wings have it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Mata. Here he is in close. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And that's offside, stopping the play. Past the midway mark of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. The Red Wings cross the line and gain the zone. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck over. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Petrie's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes a shot, and he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you got to fight for your scoring chances, James, and this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Denies him on the slapper. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Frederick. Steps in all of that. Suddenly pass, and that goes off a stick. Pass back to the point. And a big time save on a big time shot. Right up the gut into the offensive end. 
Lindholm's got the puck in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. Puck scooped up by Lindholm. Good use for the body on the play. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. And he feeds it down to Comfer. Detroit's on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Valeno. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Puck picked up by DeMillo. Quick pass across to Kopp. Here's a chance! That's gloved by Omar. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Detroit's won the draw. Fire it, fire Let's it go from the slot. Fire, fire. Oh, stick save and a butte. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Fans are buzzing, teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And we are underway here in the third, still evened up. Will we see that go-ahead goal here? Quick pass to Saka. Sends the pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Husso's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Dumped into the cross side. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a tie game. Detroit's won the defensive zone draw. Raymond's got it in the defensive zone. Detroit's looking to break out. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Pasternak. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fabry. Slides the puck to Lindholm. Detroit's ready to go on the attack. Handles a sweet beat. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. A chance in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Referee singles penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is, and everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. Fires it on net! Here's a chance behind the net. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, and it makes a save just bad enough to keep it out! The Red Wings will play it in their own end. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. And now he moves it quickly to Haig. Huge steal in his own end. Bertuzzi's got it in the offensive zone. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. And that doesn't reach the net. Boston's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. There's a chance in front! And that's stopped! Cops ready to take the draw here on this power play. Boston's got possession here in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Detroit's got the puck and loses possession after a solid hit. The Red Wings run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. 
specialty teams are so huge in any game, James, especially when it's tied. You don't want to fall behind and have discipline really be a factor in the game. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Centering feed. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Steps inside the line. Strong defensive effort. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the boards by McAvoy. Moves it around along the half wall. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck with the sense an upward trajectory as the games progress and they find the back of the net. They create offense by moving the puck, and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. The Bruins now have the lead here in period number three, and it's crunch time now. It is crunch time, and it's crush time, James. I mean, it's been back and forth all game. Now you find yourself in the lead, so you have the momentum. You've killed your opponents, so continue to hold it. Continue to apply the pressure. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Bertuzzi's got it against the boards. Can't get it to go. Boston's gained possession along the boards. People and fans complain that low-scoring games are boring, but not this one. There's been a lot of high-quality chances on both sides. It's been a very entertaining game. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Past the midway mark in this period, the Bruins are looking to build on this one-goal lead. They win the face-off here in their own end to take possession. Picked up along the wall by Petrie. Oh, tremendous hit on the play. And look at that. He's on his own pitch. Oh, great catch by his teammates, isn't it, James? As he lands in the laps of his own. And you know what? There's a lot of laps going on right there. They're saying, man, you got it. You got a good one. Now a quick pass to Raymond. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Frederick. Sits it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Quick feed to Larkin. Here's a chance on the attack. And smacks the puck out of midair. Scores! And a big time goal here in the third. Even things off. Well, there wasn't much wiggle room left, James, but they found a way to put it in, and that's because of the full court press that they've exhibited in this third period. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Slick feed. Here's a shot. What save. Puck grab by Regula. And he passes it up ahead to Saka. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Bruins take it along the wall. And now it's grabbed by Mata. And he takes the feed. Angles it over to Mata. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Moves it to the middle. Off a stick, and they can't complete the play. Takes a shot. Too much congestion in front. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And he slides it quickly to Bertuzzi. Comes up with a monster save in front. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first two strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. I love that he wanted to make something happen in on this shift, and it's not just about the goal scorer. It's about going to retrieve the puck. He gets in there, he's hard on the puck, and he creates James. This goal doesn't happen if he's not first to that puck. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice faceoff. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Handles the pass. Centering pass, and that carries off a twig in front of the net. The Red Wings take it across the line. Taken by Rasmussen. Moves it to Kopp. Takes a shot. Off target. There it is. Final horn sounds. We are all over here with the 
this one. So the win streak comes to an end tonight, but I'll tell you what, they didn't go down without a fight. Yeah, James, they started it off like they were in control of the game and looking like they were going to continue on their heater, but their opponent had something to say about it. But it was a great game, back and forth action. Listen, they may not have won the game, but look for them to continue to press. They could have another streak ahead of them. Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight, and we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See ya.